Hi everybody, Jo here. I said I'd check in with you and I wanted to make sure that you're all okay. I can't quite believe that I did the first video last Friday. I absolutely love doing them. Not too sure what I'm doing apart from me being me. Um, but so far so good and I suppose what I wanted to speak to you about today is just to check in and it's it's three words and we say this quite a lot to people but I don't actually think personally that we have the time to normally listen to the answer and plus as human beings we expect a standard answer so the question that I want to ask you is how are you it's quite simple but actually I think sometimes we're so used to saying yeah I'm all right I'm okay I'm fine that actually we don't realize or have the time to stop and think actually like how am I and I think that the reason that I wanted to do these videos to begin with was just as a way of like keeping in touch with the kids that I was working with and then obviously it's got a little bit bigger and and I'm delighted by the way the more the merrier you know I, I love doing this but now it's kind of just got a little bit I suppose I, I've always said about the unknown um, and about it being tough times but we're all in this together and you know even me last night I felt overwhelmed so today's Friday so yesterday was Thursday the 26th of March and at eight o'clock everybody um, all over the country was out on their doorsteps clapping cheering and I went out there and I was absolutely blown away um, with how many people and we live on a little street like how many people are out there and it is a big up to not just the NHS you know the people that are you know I don't know the cleaners the the people that are working in supermarkets at the moment you know people that are still doing their jobs doing the bins and stuff like that like everybody's coming together and we're doing everything that we can do by just being at home it's quite a simple one actually isn't it just staying at home but the hardest thing with just staying at home is having to to stop and think how are you and that can be overwhelming for some people and some people might kind of be loving this not going to school um, but some people might be missing the contact with people um, you know the conversations face to face and things like that and I suppose what I'm trying to say to you is that if you're ever going to kind of think about how you're feeling then I want you to realize that you're not on your own that there's plenty of charities and helplines out there so if you're not okay I need you to first of all acknowledge it which can be really really tough don't get me wrong but also to realize that the way that you're feeling right now whether it's sadness whether it's anxiety whether it's extra tendencies that you know of checking things that you didn't used to do whatever it might be I just want you to know that we'll get through this and that it's okay not to always be okay I think there's this expectation that we need to always come across that we've got it together you know to turn up to school um, you know to turn up to sick form and to have our act together to have done our work you know look nice and everything like that when actually the reality is it's it's not always as simple as that and that's okay so a couple of charities that I've mentioned before is um, you've got Shout UK they're an, a, a text message service Cooth for those people in Essex Childline Samaritans and if you are on social media there's a fantastic um, charity out there they're called Action for Happiness yeah Action for Happiness and they're brilliant they post just upbeat and positive things and I always think that if you are on social media and if that's for you I totally respect that but make sure that you're following the right people make sure that you're following people that are picking you up that are making you feel good you know in life we have <laughs> gonna laugh at me here but we have energy givers and energy vampires you know and we have those people that you know hang around with good people and they'll bring out the good in you you know they'll lift you up they'll make you feel good 
but you hang around with those people that are like vampires of your energy you know you'll walk away and you're like feeling tired and like life sucked out of you so make sure that you're kind of aware of the people that you're following online that they're the, the right people you know that they might be the right celebrities or the right influences that make you feel good not necessarily making you feel kind of you know even worse than you did before you went on social media and don't forget that that this is a physical you know distance that we've got going on you know it's not necessarily a social thing so stay in touch with your friends stay in touch with your family you know reach out like you normally would do online but just be mindful that we're all having to pull together and we're all having to be really supportive um the other day i did um, a rainbow well charlie did a rainbow i wish i had it actually um all because my sister did one and i thought i could do one better than hers um but actually like absolutely loved just doing it you know and i think unity is really important in times like this so if you're not feeling okay that's all right if you're feeling a bit wobbly and you're you're kind of not sure what you could also do is to, to kind of check in and to make sure that you're okay is to think about and imagine I wish I had a bucket it's out in the garden like um, a, a bucket or a container whatever you want to call it but you imagine that stress will flow into that bucket and I don't care what you do for a living how easy your life will be you know you're always going to have stuff that will flow into your life that that the stress or worries that that's going to keep coming you ask any adult you know you can't stop that but what we need to do is we need to learn to become aware that if we don't become aware of what's in our bucket then eventually what will happen is it will fill up fill up fill up fill up and then overflow and when it overflows is sometimes when people develop unhealthy coping strategies and that's when life almost doesn't become any easier and with that we need to think about a tap that we can almost put on this bucket that will relieve us and relieve the worries and the stress and when I work with little ones you know it's so important and you know got five-year-olds that walk it's as if they imagine telling me their worry is me taking it away from them and I think that's beautiful and I, I love that job but almost you've got to allow yourself to open up to people to feel better sometimes and whether you believe in in kind of mental health or not it's really important that you look after you and when you've got that that stress bucket and you've got that stress going in just if you can and if it's not too daunting just think about and even jot down what worries what stress do you have that's going into your bucket so home school if it's school what subjects is it you know try and get really particular and then when you're looking at kind of that that list that you've got that's in your bucket then think about and this is the hardest thing here what can you control and what's out of your control because the hardest thing for some of us right now is i like to have a certain amount of control and obviously with the coronavirus there's not much i can do about it bear with me train we've got a train that goes right at the back of our house and i'm only doing one video so that should make you chuckle um yeah so just kind of think about what's in your control and out of your control because certainly when it comes to the stress in your life it's just acknowledging it and I think sometimes stopping and, and being self-aware is really really important because when we're self-aware then we can start to give ourselves some care and kind of maybe prioritize or do lists or just become aware that actually I need to focus on that or work on that or get in contact with that friend you know whatever it might be but just become aware of what's in your bucket and I say aware of a friend is because sometimes we have friends that we love dearly, but we stress about. And just think about, you know, that control and, and what you can't control. And it's almost trying to come 
to peace with it, realising that I can only do as much as I can do. So, yeah. And just make sure that whilst you're off, you know, stay active. You know, I said I like um, Joe Wicks and he's good looking. He has got every single morning at nine o'clock a keep fit class Monday to Friday. You know, not a bad start to, to my day every day. Um, but make sure that you're active. Make sure that, you know, you give yourself a purpose. And trust me, you know, you're going to have to do things that aren't necessarily going to be comfortable, like maybe being active and things like that. But I don't want you to get, and I mean this in a really nice way, I don't want you to get lazy. It's it's finding that purpose, finding that meaning, finding that routine and, and maintaining it. Because a healthy body is a healthy mind, a healthy mind is a healthy body and everything like that. It, it really does all kind of link in. Um, yeah, and, and just look after yourselves. And I will check in with you when I can. And uh, I'm thinking of you all. And we're all in this together. So, and if you're bored, do a rainbow for your window. And it's really quite cathartic and enjoyable, actually. Anyway, take care and I will see you next week. Bye.